Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. Uh, this is a uh, beer review on our website that we call Not So Micro. This is where we do some of the mass produced beers for you just to give a little bit of a different flavor on some of the beers that a lot of people drink on a regular basis uh, at mass product produced levels. This is the new Bud Light Platinum. Uh, very distinct beer in a blue uh, glass. Uh, uh, the blue bottle is something I think that they uh, really uh, tried to market off of some of the vodkas. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the uh, top shelf vodkas are in blue glasses like this, so they're really trying to market it to be this platinum, upper echelon, top shelf type beer. What Bud Light Platinum is, is regular Bud Light, but it's triple filtered. I'll, I'll read it off of the uh, web. Triple filtered to create a uh, smooth top shelf taste. It's the first of its kind, and it's the only one worthy of the Bud Light Platinum name. Um, basically, what they're trying to do is they take Bud Light, they triple filter it. The alcohol content goes from 4.2 to 6.0. And they're marketing marketing it off of uh, kind of that uh, late to mid twenties, early thirty, late thirty bar scene type uh, individual, kind of uh, trendy, uh, going up to uh, you know the the big city bars. And instead of just drinking Bud Light because you're top shelf, you're gonna drink Bud Light Platinum. Now, one thing that's really interesting about this blue bottle, I want to mention. Anheuser-Busch is, everything I've researched, the largest recycler in the world of cans and bottles. Blue glass is not recyclable in most of the recycle centers. I can tell you in, in our area, they don't recycle blue glass. Uh, and if you look at a, a company who, who kind of holds their hat on being the big, biggest recycler, I was shocked that they use the blue glass. Now they're doing it to make the beer special. Let's talk about the beer. The beer looks like Bud Light. It's a light, very straw colored beer, very thin in texture, very little uh, carbonation, very little head. When you smell it, it smells like Bud Light. I can smell the difference between Bud Light, Coors Light, and Miller Light. If you were to blindfold me, I could absolutely tell you just by smell the differences. This one tastes like Bud Light to me with an alcohol aftertaste. Now granted, you're looking at 6%, which is what most of the micro beers are. Regular Bud Light, Miller Light, they're at 4.2% roughly. So you're at 1.8% greater than the normal uh, uh, blend that you're used to. It, this is all about marketing, in my opinion. They're trying to reinvent Bud Light for the trendy... 30-something year old going to the bar to hook up and you want to be somebody special and I don't mean that as a dig or as a as a as a degrading comment you just want to separate yourself from the rest of the bar so instead of wearing Bud Light you say I'll have a Bud Light Platinum and uh, you know uh, in that fancy blue glass top shelf I mean the beer itself to me tastes like Bud Light with an with a horrible alcohol aftertaste I don't like the taste of alcohol so I don't like very high alcohol content beers. I love micro micro brews, IPAs that are 7%, but they don't taste like alcohol because they have so much uh, infusion of hops and different, uh, whether it's fruits or barleys. Um, this beer doesn't have that. It's a very simplistic beer in its brewing process. So, Bud Light Platinum, I get it. They advertise like crazy on the Super Bowl. It skyrocketed. A six-pack in our area is about $7.00. Um, it comes in the, the you know the fancy blue bottle, which I don't like because you can't recycle it. So I'm not a big fan. I won't buy it uh, on a regular basis. If I go to a bar, I won't order it. I know a lot of people will, be, simply because Anheuser Busch is going to do such a phenomenal job of marketing this product to that that 15 uh, year age bracket they're looking for. So I mean, here it is. It's Bud Light Platinum. 6% alcohol, just okay. Um, I'd give it a 2 on the rating scale. I probably won't buy it again. Um, I think it's a, it's a, just a marketing thing. 
that Anheuser Busch is doing. And you know what? You know what? These days, if you don't do something, you're going to get left behind. So I give them a lot of credit for at least trying. But in terms of uh, beer, beer content, beer flavor, I, 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 I think it's a huge miss for me. Um, let me know if you like it. Leave some comments. You know, I'm not totally throwing the beer away, but it's not something, like I said, this for me. I know a lot of people might really like this beer better than Bud Light. I want to know why. So leave comments on our YouTube channel. Check out our website. You can leave comments there. Appreciate you watching. See you again real soon. Cheers.